Hi, this is Ron McTube. Today on Call of the Wild Angler, we're looking at a brand new massive update called the Evolution Update. Now, there's lots of things to go over. I'm fishing at night. I've joined the multiplayer game. I'm trying to catch some sturgeon, but we'll go over the details right now. So, the Evolution Update is out now. We're going to go with the highlights. Um, new fish species found in Golden Ridge Reserve. So, they've added eight new species and we're fishing for one of them right now at this location so we've populated the expansive waterways with eight new fish species on golden ridge reserve introducing the black crappie the tiger muskie the shovel nose sturgeon green sunfish brook trout cutthroat trout orid trout and last but not certainly least the walleye hopefully we'll catch some of those in a minute You'll also find the burbot has taken a trip all the way from Norway. That's the tackle I'm using. I'm trying to catch sturgeon at the minute. Breathtaking water. They've accompanied in several other visual updates. They can't help but gush about the new water surfaces. Just look at those ripples. Now, they've really done great work on the water. The waves, the ripples look really nice. So they've been updated as well. Now, that's a happy angler. Your angler will now react depending on how big your catch is on your catch screen. Just look at that smile. Now, before they had they never smiled and it was a bit disappointing. And uh, I actually uh, mentioned this quite a bit, but now they've made it so you actually smile, which you would do when catching a fish. So that's a, a good, simple little update, but it depends on how big your fish is. There's our first walleye, and it's quite a decent one introducing our new and improved progression system we've got lots in store in our new and improved progression system its goal is to make leveling up fishing and growing your reputation feel more meaningful read the full patch notes so basically i'll leave a link in the description you can go through it or um you can check it out on discord if you don't um want to do that as well but it's a lot of changes and how you level up, you get XP for like all your fish now. Features and quality of life improvements, gameplay. The majority of fish now have a stronger preference for day and night. This is why we're fishing at night. Certain fish species in real life you would not catch in the day. Uh, you fish at night and it's same in the day, so it's vice versa. So day fish will now really appear at night and vice versa. Fish spawning rates have now been adjusted on Golden Ridge Reserve. Adding new species meant taking another look at the spawning of all fish available in Golden Ridge. And uh, we made some adjustments to the spawn rates of diamonds and golds across the reserve. And updated some fish spawn locations. You can now also expand your backpack so you can carry more stuff. Missions have been reworked to accommodate the new fish species. So they've added 12 new missions, which is great news. New daily and weekly challenges. Controller haptics and rumble improvements. So all controller players, uh, they've improved that progression. The tutorial has been revamped. New feature, Taylor's Tackle Academy. So you can learn more about fishing. If you're not sure about it and you just want to play, and, but you don't know much about fishing, Credits are now earned through catching fish, which is quite a good one because when you're fishing and you get like no reward from getting a fish, it can be kind of annoying, but they've made it so every fish you catch now, you get um, credits. So that's a good update. It keeps you sort of like motivated. Visuals, they've improved the color grading on Golden Ridge Reserve. Reserve intro videos have been updated. Brighter night time on Golden Ridge Reserve. You can see now it's not too bad to see at night. And obviously because of nighttime fishing, you can be fishing at night for certain species, which is a lot of fun. I used to do a lot of it in uh, in real life fishing. Hello, we finally got one. Yes, this is what I've been after. Our first shovel nose sturgeon. UI, they've made item images now show up in the ui error messaging improvements as well which is good multiplayer sessions they uh, list all the players now which is really useful as you want to see friends and things like that or who's in your lobby additional anti-exploit mechanics trying to stop people exploiting and cheating 
performance general performance improvements the performance gains may vary based on your hardware settings and circumstances in game but most players should see a nice bump in fps and there's nothing wrong with that everyone wants to see better performance so overall this evolution update is a really big update there's a lot of things that want to tweak and change him they've done them for the better we've got eight new species to fish for as well water improvements a lot has been added in this update so every update like this just makes the game better and better and it's turning into a really good fishing game and i really enjoy it now and uh, what we got now but uh yeah i'm trying to catch uh, walleye and sturgeon but yeah this evolution update is a really good update and uh, they've done well with this so congratulations guys. So out of all these updates, I'd say the top three things for me is breathtaking water. The water looks absolutely amazing. Um, some people have complained about it before, but now it looks really realistic. And uh, they've done a great job with that. And it's no easy task either. Making water like react like re in real life water is not an easy task and actually look like real water. So they've done a really good job there. The smiling, it's just so simple, right? But just before, every fish you catch, you used to take your like little trophy shot or look at you holding the fish and he was always sad. And uh, you wouldn't be like that. So now they've changed it to react to the size of the fish, how happy you are. And uh, that's a good little tweak. Um, a lot of people might overlook that, but to me, that's quite a big change. Also, obviously, eight new species to fish for at Golden Ridge Reserve. And look at that, nice big walleye. So, overall, it's been a great update. They're not easy to achieve, so they've done a lot of work in a short amount of time. And we're only just starting out. It's gonna get better and better. And uh, it's turned into a really good fishing game. So, Call of Wild Angler, uh, evolving with the evolution update. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see added to Call of Wild Angler next. Your top three things. Mine would be carp fishing. I, I just can't wait to see that happen. But today we've been talking about the evolution update for Call of Wild Angler. I'm Ron McTube. I'm going to keep fishing. I'm in multiplayer with a load of people. You should check out the Call of Wild the Angler Discord. Loads of friendly people there. Help with locations, tips. Great place to be. Please subscribe to my channels. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.